so as a student of Dr. Khalid Muhammad, I'm so sick and tired of athletes, entertainers, mm -hmm. and those that make it um, turning on black people and talking down to black people. It's clear that these two brothers, they just love them some cracker women. They just love them some blonde haired, blue eyed, pink toes, pale skin, buttermilk complexion, ironing board backside, caucasoid mutinoid, subjects Ooh. have itch, white cave bitches. And it's a shame. I, and I'm Myron. I call brother Myron the Sambo from Sudan. I'm hoping that he hasn't been bit by the white Arab disease that teaches that the white Sudanese is better than the black Sudanese. I heard Fresh say that one of his parents was black, but we don't know about the other one. And so we in the New Black Panther Party and I, Malik Zulu Shabazz, I want to say I love the black woman. I want to say that the black woman is the queen of the planet Earth. She's the mother of civilization that the black woman is the goddess of the universe. She ain't just somebody we may just happen to want. She is our not just our preference. She's all that we want. We don't want nothing else but the black woman. And we are, and one day we're going to put a stop to this. As Khalid Muhammad hey, said. I'm the black woman, right? Bro, I'm from Barbados, bro. My whole life, basically, I was in black chicks. So your assumption, based off of like, Oh, these guys are celebrities and they don't like, they, they're caucus with a Bro, at the same time, I respect your opinion, we don't know us. So for you to say that, I just find it hysterical because you're assuming based off of a clip. Now, I don't know what you date. I don't care what you date. None of my business. So what are you going to say, bro? Because you're talking a lot of shit right now, bro. A lot of shit. Uh, bro, what I I'm doing is, is I'm, as I'm being on point, bro, I hear clearly what you're saying. You don't like black women. They're not your preference. And you equate black women with hood. Everything black to you is hood. Because maybe you've been rejected all your life because you're so black. And you got that big broad nose. And you look like an original African black statue. And then you want to get away from all the insults you've suffered all your life because you're so Whatever they was calling you. Now you want to get away from black, brother. But it's your job now to embrace yourself. You got to love yourself. So you're you're making derogatory <laughs> white people, uh, and that's okay. <laughs> like, right up. He's <laughs> like, uh, like, we're going to make jokes on everyone. And, oh, you're putting down the black woman. Don't talk. With all due respect, this is how you look right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking car world, bro. This is how you look, bro. At you by the toe, and I ain't gonna let you go, Myron. Come on, Myron. Come on, Myron. What's okay. happening, YouTube? It's your boy Big Just LaFleur from that Facts and Cat podcast. And once again, we back, baby. And hey, y'all just seen the video that I put up, man. Um, we had Fresh and Fit on Instagram Live. Let me get his name right with Dr. Malik Zulu Shabazz on the Fair Gray Show on Instagram Live. And they went toe to toe. And uh, just my quick opinion on this type of matter, I think that um, I think Dr. Shabazz in a whole sense and a whole realm of things, he was right. But I think where he made his mistake was starting off his conversation, trying to chastise somebody else for the disrespect that they have towards black people um, by disrespecting a white person. Now. I'm not here to define, uh, defend no white people, but what I'm saying is you have to get your message across to where you don't lose the person that you're talking to. You get what I'm saying? So it's kind of like if you're trying to talk to a, a, a gang member who's a crip, you wouldn't disrespect a crip while trying to get him to, you know, lay down his rag or, you know, just tell him how it's a better life. So you can't do that. That's not how you get through to people with your messaging. But I have to say what I felt he was saying was correct. I felt that what he said about Fresh saying you don't love yourself by him being the one who relating everything that black women do to be a hood or ratchet and them uh referring to women as shaniquas and laquishas and stereotypical uh aspects i think that he was correct 
that it's a lack of love there for yourself. And I also think that Dr. Shabazz hit it right on the head when he said something about uh, to to um, to fit about you don't be the um, the Sudan who doesn't like the white Sudan. Or, or likes the whites who's taught to like the white sedan but not like the black sedan so the reason i say that is because if anybody and this isn't me generalizing it i'm not saying this is how every immigrant is right because then i would be a hypocrite what i'm saying is they came off to me because both of them uh you got you got uh fresh who's from barbados right and then you got fit i'm not sure if he's from the sudan but his family is right and I, I, I'm assuming that the way he said it before is if maybe he's a first American born or he spent more time, he spent his younger years and is more Americanized than his parents. Right. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because a lot of immigrants come to this country to give their children better live a better life. Right. And in the me in the meaning in the between that, when they tell them, they tell them, hey, don't bring these type of people home. You know, a lot of the immigrants might look at black people, American born black people as lazy, as ghetto, as ratchet. And that's the type of talking that they do behind closed doors. I'm only saying this because I've dealt with this with the woman that I've dated that was from Jamaica. Right. Um, I could tell that her parents didn't look at me as worthy to be with her because when immigrants come down here they mean business they want you just like a lot of people they want you to date people like yourself so if you're from the sudan they want you to marry and i've seen myron say this he he said if he ever gets married he's gonna go back to the sudan and get married why because that's probably how he was taught he always says his mom says do not marry an american girl so that's the kind of I think that's why we get those uh, jokes and just the type of tones that they have towards black American women is because this is how they are taught at home. And maybe uh, it comes off to me that like like Dr. Shabazz said about Fresh, that he basically has always maybe wanted a black woman, couldn't get him. They don't. He doesn't come off kind of like the america uh, as a, a, the guy who's attracted um who attracts black american women you know so maybe there is a type of bitterness behind that so i think overall that he had points but i think it's about how you deliver the message you can't just disrespect people while trying to deliver your message so all in all i think that everybody else could have been better i think that the way that Fresh and Fit res responded to him was very immature. Um, they didn't even try to have a conversation. It was more so we're going to joke our way out of this because I feel like they felt the pressure. I felt like once he once Dr. Shabazz said, wait, uh, one too many uh, derogatory terms towards white people it gave them a door to open to get up out of there so they could say hey look you're disrespect they caught him out on his hypocrisy but they still didn't answer basically the whole um aspect of the conversation and they basically even said on the podcast that hey this audience isn't this isn't for this audience they're still stuck on the fact too that their preference nobody's arguing your preference you fucking geeks they're arguing about the disrespect that's what it is when asian people got disrespected what did they do they got shit removed they got yg's music uh, uh song removed off of there they got a bill signed for them so you can't get mad when black people come together and say, hey, look, we're not going to tolerate this because we aren't together as a, as as one anyway. So when we're taking mo when we're making a, 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 a effort to be together, you have to respect that. But you don't respect it because y'all were the ones that fucked up. Hit me. Uh, follow me. Subscribe. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and y'all tell me what y'all think about uh, what I said about this fresh and fit conversation. Have y'all ever met immigrants that match what I'm trying to say? Do y'all understand what I'm trying to say? I felt like I got that out there pretty good. But anyway, subscribe to my daddy channel.